What's going on everybody, I'm Primal Liquid and today I am going to show you how to install the lovely P-Bird mod for Final Fantasy X. Now if you don't know, the P-Bird mod is a Final Fantasy X mod that has been in the making now for many, many, many years. If you don't know, uh, Burke aka Danzo8 has been playtesting this for quite a good while now and P-Bird has essentially now released it to the general public to play. And let's just talk a little bit about the mod first of all, so you know you guys can get a little bit of uh, an understanding of what changes and things like that. Essentially, the gameplay, well, the story for FF10 is obviously still the same, you know, it, it's still FF10 at the end of the day. However, on a gameplay side of things, basically everything is different. It's been completely reworked. New enemies, new attacks, new battle AI, um, animations are changed. Um, there's way more things in the monster arena. In the original FF10, Penance was the uh, the hardest fight. Not anymore. Well, no, actually, I think Penance is still technically the hardest fight, but that's only because it's been changed now. <laughs> um, but the monster arena has been completely reworked as well. Like, there's so, so many new things in this mod. It's essentially the same game story, but the gameplay is going to be completely different. So if you, if you love FF10 and you're looking for a new way to play it, this is going to be the way to do it. So definitely a big, big shout out to P-Bird. He's been working on this mod for, honestly, I don't even know how many years at this point. It's got to be, it's got to be a good four, five plus years that he's been working on this project. So a big, big shout out to him. Now, let's actually talk about how to install the mod, shall we? But before that, I do want to quickly mention one little thing, guys. We are currently in the middle of a Raid Shadow Legends sponsorship for charity. There is a link down below in the description. If you want to help out, raise some money for charity, then click that link, play Raid Shadow Legends, get up to level 10, and then that's all. That's all you need to do. Just get to level 10 on Raid Shadow Legends, and then you can uninstall the game if you want to. All money from the sponsorship raised, so the more people we get to level 10, the better. Um, all that money will be going to the Douglas McMillan Cancer Charity in the UK. Right, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and actually do the, uh, the install guide, shall we? So, straight off the bat, you are going to need technically three things. Um, obviously, I've only got two here. That's because my uh, PSX2 emulator is in a different folder. Luckily enough, you don't really need to do anything with that, though. That's why I'm only focusing on these two things right now. So, straight off the bat, there is the P-Bird mod folder. Now, this folder I will have linked down below in the description, so you can download this. The Final Fantasy X ISO, though, will not be linked. Obviously, it's illegal to technically disable distribute ISOs, so I will not be linking that. All I will say is uh, Google's a friend or maybe maybe some cool ROMs are a, are a good place to look for this. Who knows? I hope you got that hint. Um, anyway, when it comes to the ISO, one thing to note is it does 100% have to be the UK PAL edition of it. So this means the uh, the European international version will be fine, uh, UK PAL and things like that. I don't know about other languages. Uh, P-Bird basically says in the um, like the uh, the text doc in this folder, he doesn't know if other languages will work, but as long as it is the either UK PAL or the European international, it will work just fine. So make sure you have that as well. Now, when it comes to the actual P-Bird mod, there is a couple of things you're gonna to need to do first and foremost. So first of all, make sure you click properties. So right click it and then click properties. Now I've already done this, so it's gonna be a little bit different for me compared to you. However, if you look down here at the bottom where it says attributes, normally there will be a little uh, a little bit of text here. Basically, if you download a folder and all that, there'll be a little bit of text here and then there'll be a little tick box here which says unblock. What you want to do is tick that and then click apply. That essentially just gets it through the firewalls and things like that because obviously a lot of mods always have troubles like that. So what we're going to do now straight off the bat is we're going to extract this uh, this folder right now. And then we'll also extract the ISO folder as well because we're going to need we're going to need both of these right at the start basically. The ISO obviously you know it's it's a large folder it is going to take a little bit of time to extract. So while that's doing let's go and actually take a look in the PBird folder shall we? Okay. So when it comes to the PBird folder there is a content ESR disk patch uh, replace tool pack a readme so this readme right here is essentially uh, you know your installation guide so if you don't want to watch this video and you want to just do it from the text doc 
perfectly fine. Just go ahead and open that. Um, there's a version 2.6 change log, so everything changed in 2.6 and that. Um, the changes are in there. And then I've no idea what this last little uh, document is. Never opened it. I've found no references to it, so I don't know. Um, I'm not going to mess with it, though, because I don't know if that's going to mess up the mod or anything like that. So... What we're basically going to be doing in this uh, in this folder entirely is we're only ever going to use two things, okay? The only things we're ever going to use is the installation document. Obviously, I already know what's in there, so I'm not going to open that. If you want to, feel free. There is some, uh, some more changes in there as well down at the bottom. But the main thing we're going to be using is the tool pack. If you are playing on a modded PS2, you can burn this mod onto a disc, in which case you would use the disc patcher. Now, I don't have a modded PS2, I don't know how to use a disc patcher, so I'm not going to look into that. If you do have a modded PS2, you probably know how to use a disc patcher, in which case you probably already know that anyway. So for now, we're going to be focusing on the emulator. Now. With that out of the way, the uh, the ISO has fully extracted. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into that ISO file, uh, folder. We're going to copy the ISO for Final Fantasy X. And then we're going to just paste it into the same folder that the FF102 tool pack is in. Now, I know it says X2. Don't worry. It's only because of the fact that the tool pack technically only works with... 10 to but it's fine it still works with the 10 all we have to do now though is we are going to open the installation folder uh, let me just uh pull this over well the installation tech stock and the reason we're going to open that is because we actually need to change the name of our iso so right here in step one it's basically got a little bit in uh, explanation marks uh, no explanation marks like quotation marks that is ffx2 underscore int we're gonna copy that and then we're going to rename the iso to that and basically the reason we do that is so the tool pack will actually work on it essentially once we've done that we're going to open up the tool pack and this is where things get super super simple so, looks a little confusing at first. Guess what? Good news is, we can completely ignore all of these options, bar two. All we're going to do is click ISO Unpack. And because the ISO is already in this folder, we don't even need to designate it or anything like that. All we have to do is click Unpack. Now, it could take a bit of time. Um... This is my, my second time doing it. First time was way quicker than this. I don't know why it's taking so long. But essentially, once you unpack the files, it'll create a new ISO. Now, that ISO will be called... Uh, where's the doc? Okay, so that ISO that will be created um, will basically be called ffx2 underscore int underscore repack. Once we have this repack, you can change the name of it to whatever you want, and then that will be the ISO that you load in the PS2 emulator. And that is that is literally it, guys. It is seriously that simple. Whoops. Uh, yeah, okay. As you can see, it's completely nearly done now. We've just got a couple more seconds, and then we are good to go. So, come on. Come on. Just, just 200 more. Just 200 more files. Oh, it's crashed on me. It, it's crashed. It's crashed. Can you see the little spinning icon? God damn it. Why why is it always like this when I'm trying to make a video? Oh wait, no, it's going again. It's going. Well, in that case, we'll we'll have a coffee while we wait for it. But yeah, once it's once it's completely all unpacked, all we then have to do is hit repack. What this is essentially doing is the unpack is taking all the files from the ISO and it's putting it into this content folder, right? Once we hit repack, it then recreates the ISO using the mod files, essentially. And that is what is going to create the modded ISO that you can load into the uh, the PS2 emulator. And it's still not finished. What the crap? It took nowhere near this amount of time. I'm guessing maybe it's because I already have this done. I, I, I'm not sure why it's actually taken. Okay, there we go. It's ready anyway. All right, so now that it's ready, all you got to do... ISO repack. Uh, as, as you can see, way faster this one, thankfully. Okay, so the ISO is repacking right now. Won't take too long. 
minute or two at most. And then this is going to generate the new ISO for us. We still have our original ISO here, the one that we renamed. You can still use that as normal if you really, really wanted to. Um, or probably not if you're wanting to play this mod. And then once that ISO is made, let me just go ahead and quickly load up uh, PSX2. Okay, so here we have our PSX2. Obviously, uh, we are still creating the ISO. As you can see, it's already formed there as well. It's just not completely finished. That's why the file size is smaller. So now we'll just wait for this to finish and then we'll boot it up quickly. Come on, just just a couple more, just a couple more. It's all you know. Have you ever noticed like these loading bars always drastically slow down right at the goddamn end? It's always the case with everything, isn't it? Like updates. Uh, mod files, downloads, like it's always so slow at the end. Come on. Any, any day now. You know what? I suppose I probably could actually just load my uh, my other ISO, couldn't I? Oh, well, it's done now anyway. Well, now that that's completely repacked, we can close that. Now, the int repack is a little bit bigger than the original, uh, the original file. That's normal. Don't worry. That is perfectly normal. Now, we can actually reload. Uh, reload? We can rename this file to anything we want literally anything so for example i'm gonna i'm just gonna rename that to uh p bird mod there you go just completely rename it doesn't matter and then what we're gonna do is we'll load up system iso selector browse uh let's see let me just move that off because i in order to get to this folder i've got to uh show a few of the little things that i'm working on which i don't really want to uh okay so as you can see right now here we are uh, this is the PBird FF10 folder that we're currently in, and there is the PBird mod ISO. We're just going to open that up, system, boot CD full, and boom, we're away. Now, if you want to know if it's worked or not, then you can just uh, fast forward through the whole loading and things like that. Uh, where's my controller? So, obviously, there is the loading screen. Right, now, once you get to... Oh, I forgot I've still got fast forward on. Whoops. But yeah, once you actually get to the typical, uh, you know, new game, load game. Wait, why is fast forward not turning off? Turn off. Turn off. No, it's not turning off for some reason. What the crap? I think I broke it. <laughs> I broke it. Anyway, just hit new game. And as you can see, as soon as you hit new game, you've got a nice little bit of text there from PBird. PBird mod, FF10 mod, uh, version 2.6. One fancy X mod, version 2.6. At the moment, only utilizes the original sphere grid. That right there is how you know it is working correctly. As long as you get this on new game, you know your mod is installed correctly. It's working just fine. And now, all that's left is for you to go and play it. And that is it, guys. That is how to install the Final Fantasy X PBird mod. It is actually that simple. So, go out there, enjoy, and have a blast. I, myself, am literally uh, about to start my PBird run, so... Why not? Let's all do it together, shall we? You know, we, we can all have some fun together. Let's uh, let's see who completes it first, me or you guys. With that said, though, everybody, I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed the mod, and I will see you soon.